Alright people it's Sprite here and today I've got another commentary for you. This one is over a L96 ground war domination game on Havana. I've already uh, got a blackbird and I already died twice. I had a little streak at the start which I actually cut out by accident. Where with a spa I rush with the spars and get a few kills with different guns that I pick up off the floor and it's a nice little mini clip. Uh, so that's why you haven't seen it. I'm afraid I cut it out and deleted the... Um, the file, so a bit stupid. But anyway, this is the L96 gameplay, well, the rest of the game, so I hope you enjoy it. But um, today I want to talk about a topic that's been on my mind a lot recently, and I know you guys enjoy when I talk about other stuff, you know, the, other than gaming and other than YouTube. That you, you like to hear stuff about, you know, me and my life. Uh, well, most of you do, obviously, some don't, but can't please everyone. And um, yeah, so this one is one that's been troubling me for ages now, like, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe a year or something. And I've kind of just put it aside and not even mentioned it to many people. Um, and just kind of forgot about it and just, I don't really, I wasn't motivated to do anything about it. So basically what it is, is for me to pass my driving test um, and get my driving license. Now, if you don't know, in the UK it's different to, uh, you know, other countries. But in the UK you have to do like a theory test. When you're 17, you get like a provisional license. Um, you apply for that um, then you do a theory test which is just like um, you know stuff about the road different signs and then you do what like a reaction test which is you have to spot the hazard in these little video clips because um, I don't know why they do that but obviously you've got to be aware of what's going on and um, then you you know you learn to drive and do well you can start learning to drive to do, before you do your theory but you do all that and then do some lessons and then you have your you know your actual test your practical test which um you know you just go on a certain route and then you have to do maneuvers and stuff and, and then that's the way you do it in the uk and then you pass that and you've got your license but what happened to me is that i started out you know 17 i was like oh let's do some driving i'd love to drive kind of thing uh, so i started my lessons and i was like hmm this is a bit boring um, and everyone was like oh my god how fun is driving I'm just like yeah yeah I felt like kind of the odd one out because everyone just seemed to enjoy it and everyone was like oh you know it's so free and so much freedom you can get when you drive and I was like well yeah but it's costing me a bomb it's like 20 pound a lesson um, you know if I got a car it's thousands of pounds for insurance in the car and all this and I was just like it's kind of a lot to say that I won't need it at the moment so what happened is um, that Christmas, it was actually 2010 when I always started doing my lessons, it was, I was 17 and it, by Christmas 2010 it started to snow and we couldn't really do the lessons because all the road was uh, you know, was covered in snow and stuff uh, and sludge and obviously when you're a learner you don't really want to be doing stuff in that. So he advised us to stop for a while so I kind of stopped and then because I hated it so much and because I didn't want to drive I kind of was just put off starting them back up again because I wasn't motivated to do it. I know you guys should know what it's like in something where you hate it that much, you're not motivated to do it. That's kind of what this was. So um, I was so bored of it and I just didn't start it back up. But then in in about you know July time, 2011, I'd not have a, I'd not had a lesson in over six months, and I thought, oh maybe I should do my theory over the summer before I start university. So I did that past the theory and I was like right you know I, I'm ready for doing some more lessons now but in my back of my mind I was like nope lessons that's just boring driving's boring don't do it so I kind of put off it again so I couldn't really win really um, so then I did university and I really didn't want to do it around uni so um, I obviously put it off and now we're in the summer so it's been almost hmm I guess almost well it's almost been two years since I've had a last lesson. Maybe about a year and three quarters, maybe 20 months or something. Um, pretty bad to say, you know, I should have passed it a while ago. But the problem I've got is, because I hate it so much and because I don't want to do it, I'm not motivated to do it. And the reason being is, I don't see the point in it for me at the moment. Now I'm going to be moving to the city centre, Sheffield city centre in about 10 weeks so I have 10 weeks if I wanted to is do all my lessons and pass my test I've already had about 10 15 lessons you know years ago um, and I'm you know I'm a good driver I'm not bad at all it's not like I'm saying I don't enjoy it because I suck at it it's not I, I'm just like you know normal at it um, 
but you know I've got 10 weeks to pass the test and then I start uni again I don't want to be doing lessons while I'm at uni university I don't want to be doing my tests while I'm at university so to be honest if I did do it I'd have to cr cram all these lessons in and it would cost a lot because it is like 20 pound a lesson so you know it's gonna be you're talking hundreds of pounds to get it done and the test does cost as well so one option is to do all my lessons as soon as I can and get it passed but I won't be buying a car for another maybe uh, it's at least one year because I'm moving into the city centre my course is four years long at uni so I'm going to be living in, in the city centre for three more years all the transports there around you it, everything's pretty much in walking distance so I won't particularly need a car and there's nowhere to put it anywhere at the accommodation that I've got now so that's going to be a you know if I passed I wouldn't be driving for another two maybe three years which you know it, it might be a waste of time because I might need to get back into it again if it's been so long since I last drove so that's you know that's kind of one thing the problem being is like all my friends and family enjoy driving and they're all just like you know some it's, it's kind of a split decision some are like oh you should get it out of the way and do it now and then whenever you want a car you can just buy one I was like yeah that's kind of a good point but then other side of my family and friends is like well if you do it now then you're not you're going to be not driving for ages plus you might as well focus on you know you for a bit and then when you get to uni you're going to be focusing on your studies you don't want to be you know if you don't pass you don't want to be doing any driving while you're at uni so you know I'd, I'd have to have a lot of pressure on me to you know get everything done and pass in the 10 weeks so they said oh why don't you wait till you want to drive and then um you know do it then so I was like well I don't know <laughs> I've already done my theory and your theory actually runs out after two years it expires if you don't pass your test it expires after two years so if anything I'd have to get it done next summer if I wanted to or I'd have to redo my theory which costs about 40 pound 30 40 pound which is a bit of a ripoff but whatever so you know I'm in, in a bit of a pickle um, right now and I really would you know appreciate any opinions on this you know some of you might not be old enough to drive uh, I know that but maybe you know of, of any situations your parents or your you know certain family members brothers sisters whatever have been in or maybe your own personal situation where you don't like driving or am I the only one that doesn't like driving C come on just just tell me cuz I just seem to hate it and I don't know so that's all that um, if you've got any opinions please put in the comments um, I guess I'll give you a quick little update on something. If you uh, if you didn't know, I got my second channel partner not long ago, and I'm actually going to be uploading videos on there, but not COD videos. I'm thinking about doing like Minecraft, Portal, Left 4 Dead, things like that, just to take a break from COD, because um, I've actually taken a break from Black Ops for a, you know maybe half a week or something, because I'm just getting kind of bored of it and it's a bit repetitive at the moment. I'm getting annoyed, so I'm kind of taking a break from that. So if you want to see some other videos from me. Go over to my second channel, links in the description. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully I'll get motivated to put some videos in there soon. I don't really want to mix them onto this channel, that's why I'm going to upload them onto the second one. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this commentary. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, bye.